Hi, I'm Chef Owen Tilly, and welcome to this week's installment of Ask the Chef. This week's question comes from Debbie, one of our Facebook fans, and Debbie asks, how do I roll sushi? Well, Debbie, it's easier than you think. It only takes a few pieces of equipment and a, set, and a few ingredients, and you're ready to go. So let's get started. First, with the equipment, you're going to need a bamboo sushi mat. Now, these are readily available. You can find them at any of your local grocery stores. I've even found them at corner uh, convenience stores as well. Now, there's two sides to a sushi mat. There's the flat side and the rolled side. We definitely want to use the flat side up. Next piece of equipment is an extremely sharp knife. Now, I wrote a couple of weeks ago about my Kikuchi knife, and this is it. So I'm going to leave it sheath because it's so sharp that it'll shave and we don't want to get hurt. Now, last is just a simple wash rag or a hand towel. You want to moisten this with water because this is going to be the adhesive that we use to make our sushi hold together. Now, for ingredients, we're going to today, we're going to make a California roll. This is a very popular and it's cooked sushi, so even the starter can eat it without any fears of eating raw fish. So what I have here is some sushi rice. Now, sushi rice, because of modern convenience, you can even buy pre-prepared sushi rice at your grocery store these days. If they don't have it, just follow the directions on the sushi rice. A couple of tips for you though, is to make sure that you wash your rice until the water comes through clear. Now what this does is it removes all of the starch that's gathered on the rice as it's been in shipping and it makes your sushi rice nice and clean without being gloppy. Next ingredient, nice ripe sliced avocado, some sliced cucumber, and at the end I have some snow, cra snow crab legs. Now, you can use snow crab legs, you can use surimi or imitation crab, or you can even use that pre-prepared seafood salad that you have at your local grocery store. Either one will make a great California roll. So, now that we have all our ingredients and tools, let's get started. Now, I almost forgot our most important ingredient, and that's these nori sheets. Now, nori is seaweed that's been toasted, roasted, and then formed into these nice sheets. And that's the wrapper for sushi. Now, we're going to start by laying the bamboo platter, I'm sorry, the bamboo roller down on a cutting board. And then we're going to place the shiny side of the nori up and it position it just like this on our bamboo mat. Now, first, we're going to start off with the rice. I pull my ingredients over a little closer. Here we go. Now, the rice is sticky, so be prepared to make a mess. And hey, like I always say, if you make a mess in the kitchen, it just adds to the fun. No worries at all. So, <laughs> as it sticks to my fingers, we're going to put the rice on there. About a cup of, mm, around a cup. A uh, little bit less, a little bit more. Depends really on uh, how much rice you want in your sushi. But like I said once again, if you put too many ingredients in it, your sushi is really not going to roll very tight. So... As I press this in, there we go. All right, now you want to level it out. Gotta have a little bit of a level playing field. One thing I also like to do is take my pinky and make a little channel down the middle. And this is gonna help keep our ingredients in place. A little quick dusting of the hands. And we're ready to continue. Now, I'm gonna take and place the crab legs right across. Now this is where you take your imitation crab, your surimi, or your pre-prepared crab salad and just place it over the top exactly like I did. Now next we're going to take some avocado, we're going to break it up just a little bit and place it right next to the crab. The great thing about sushi is if you don't like one of the ingredients, you don't have to add it. You can leave out the avocado if it's not your favorite, but I really find that the creaminess really makes it. Next, we're going to take a little bit of cucumber for some added crunch and place that on as well. So now we're ready to roll. As you can see, I've left about a finger space on the back and all this empty. You don't want to cover completely with rice, if you do, then your sushi, uh, your nori is not going to stick together and your sushi will fall apart. So, let's start to roll. What I like to do is start and just flip it over as such. Now, we're going to press down, hold your sushi mat on the top with your thumb, 
and pull it back towards you. This stretching that I'm doing is compacting the rice and it's making for a nice tight roll. Now you can see I've exposed some of the nori on the front side. This is where the, the wetted uh, hand rag or wetted washcloth comes into play. Now I'm just going to simply press down. You don't want to wet it too much or it'll start to frill apart on you. You just want to give it a little bit of moisture, just enough to make it adhere. Now we'll finish off by holding this in and rolling your sushi nice and tight all the way through. And it was as easy as that. Now, I'm going to let it sit for just a minute or two because I want the nori, the seaweed wrapper, to adhere to itself. So I want to let it sit for just a minute or two before I cut it with my knife. So, since we are on the internet and time is of the essence, I'm going to go ahead and cut. And that's why I'm using my Kikuchi because it's so sharp, it's really going to allow for us to have nice clean cuts. All right, and there you go. Everything in the middle, just like you see in the restaurants. Now let's bring it to a plate. And then just arrange it with a little bit of garnish on your favorite plate. And there we go, just like in the restaurants. Now, you're gonna wanna serve your sushi with a little bit of wasabi and some really nice soy sauce. So, like I said, Debbie, it is that easy. I'd like to thank you all for joining us this week and thank Debbie for asking the question of how to roll sushi. Join me again next week and remember, you keep asking, I'll keep cooking.